Welcome to John David Rainey. He is Walmart's CFO. Thank you for being here with us on your earnings day. A lot to talk about. I want to dig right into it when it comes to what you're seeing for discretionary categories at Walmart. Obviously, you've got many categories there, but this is an area that has been soft for competitors and admittedly soft for you as well. But it seems like you're seeing improvement. Would you say you're gaining market share in discretionary? And is it a new shopper to Walmart? Well, Courtney, it's a pleasure to be on the show, first of all. But yes, one of the exciting things about our performance this quarter is the share gains that we had. And it was broadly across all categories. We've seen for four or five quarters here now that we've been gaining share in food and grocery. But we also expanded that into general merchandise and consumables in the latest quarter. And it really demonstrates that our value proposition is resonating with customers. We've always been known for everyday low prices, but our customers are telling us that they also value us for convenience now. And that's a really exciting part of our business. Oh, that is very fascinating. You've detailed sort of tailwinds and headwinds for the consumer currently and potentially to come, including the resumption of student loan payments. What do you think will win out ultimately when it comes to what consumers are facing? Will they sort of rise above? Well, um, we talked earlier this morning, Courtney, and, and, you know, I said I feel marginally better than at this point in time a quarter ago, but there's still uncertainty of the economy. There's still high energy prices, as you noted, the resumption of student loan payments in October, and we still haven't seen the full effect of some of the tightening that the Fed has done. So there's reason to be cautious, but what we see with our customers' behavior is they're very choiceful. They're discerning, and they're leaning into these, these moments like seasonal around July 4th, back to school, and they're not sacrificing those events. They're spending into that, and that's benefiting our business. We're, we're trying to provide the very best assortment and merchandise for our, our customers to buy during those times. And so speaking of assortment, we touched on discretionary, but grocery, obviously extremely important to Walmart, more than half of your sales. It seems to be a big differentiator, especially this quarter. How has the government's change in the SNAP benefits program impacted your grocery business, if at all? We saw a little bit of an impact in the first quarter, not only related to the abatement of SNAP benefits, but, but also just related to tax refunds that were down in the quarter. That impacted our business. But what we've historically seen around SNAP benefits is that we recapture about 90% of that through under other tender types. But I think broadly speaking, what it points to is that our value proposition really is resonating. Customers are coming to us to buy groceries online. They're picking it up curbside. And, and that category of our business which we also include in e-commerce, that, that curbside pickup, that's a 50% compounded annual growth rate over the last three years. I think very importantly, when we look at that customer, they shop with us more frequently and they spend on average about $1,000 more per year. Wow. Uh, online sales is another area where Walmart was a bit of a standout this quarter compared to at least what we heard from rival Target yesterday, continuing to grow on top of those pandemic surges that you saw what are Walmart customers buying, and is it being driven by the Walmart Plus program and those signups that you saw during the quarter? Yeah, well, we're really excited about the 24% e-commerce growth that we had in our business. That includes customers buying more online, but it also includes other parts of our business, like advertising, as an example. If you're an advertiser, you want to spend money where the eyeballs are. And as we're gaining share and customers are coming to us, advertisers are leaning into that. Our advertiser count, so the number of advertisers that are advertising with us, was up 60% in the quarter. But related to the customers, what we're seeing is, is there's a slight change in some of their behaviors around what they're buying in food items. That things like prepared meals, um, that was something that we saw an inflection towards more of that in the quarter. Also, general merchandise like um, hand mixers or blenders, things like that, where it clearly indicates that they're, they're preparing meals at home. 